Hello everybody, this is Anas Salihovic and welcome to my channel where only you have the power to build your world. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install a brand new thermostat. So let's get started. But before we get into it, I'm going to need you to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. So if you have an older home, you probably have one of these dinosaurs as your thermostat. These things are a pain in the you know what. First off, when you try and turn on the heat, you just push it up. The cooling, you just push it down, but it's like super hard because the buttons are very, very old. And then to turn it off, to put it in the middle, it's almost impossible to do. So we're going to be installing a new Honeywell thermostat. This is a newer one, programmable. And this is the old one, this is the new one. So let's get started. All right, this is a very simple job, and here's all the tools that you will need. You will need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver, preferably a flathead that is very small. When you get your thermostat, it will include the actual thermostat, the screws, the instruction manual, and that's it. You will have to buy your batteries separately. This is all that is required for you to install your brand new thermostat. Before we do any electrical work on any property, first thing that we do is turn off the power. This is very important because on every job, your number one concern should be your safety. So let's turn off the power. Now that we have opened up the breaker box, you can see that somebody tried labeling it, but they did not complete the job. In this scenario, guys, if your breaker is not labeled, and you do not know what breaker it is, just turn off everything. Literally, all these breakers I will turn off. This way you will not have to guess and you will be safe, which is the number one thing. Now we're going to turn off all the breakers and continue installing our thermostat. All right, the first step in removing any old thermostat is simply to get the cover off. As you can see on this one, it is very old and the cover literally just pops off. Now that the cover is off, you will see the two screws that need to come out in order for you to remove the thermostat from the wall. Here's the first screw they got to come out and then here's the second screw. They're both flathead so this shouldn't be a problem. Now let's take them out. Here's our flathead and now we're going to take them out. Bam, we got the first screw out. Now, your thermostat should be loose. Now let's get the top screw. All right, now we have removed both of the screws and the thermostat is loose. When you pull it out, it will have a wire with many different colors. Just like that, it will have a blue, yellow, white, green, red. Every thermostat is a little bit different, but they all follow the same concept of matching up the colors to the right hole, which we will see on the new thermostat. Now on the back of the thermostat, you will see that every color is screwed in with a Phillips screwdriver. Now simply what we will do is use this Phillips to remove each screw that's holding a wire and then we're going to remove the wires. Very easy step. If you look at all the wires, for example yellow, it is next to the Y, white next to the W, red next to R, and green next to G. It is all color oriented, very easy to remember. All you have to do is loosen these screws up and the wires should pop out of place. Just like that. And now you can see all the wires that are left. There is a blue one, but the blue one wasn't used on this thermostat, which is absolutely fine. All right, now we're going to go 
on step number two. All right, for, for step number two, you will get the back plate that came with your brand new thermostat and you're gonna position it wherever you want your thermostat to be. In this case, the thermostat that we got is horizontal and the one we had before was vertical. So we're going to end up with a very ugly spot in the house. We're gonna to have to repaint all of this or you can put a plate behind it or like some decoration. But other than that, your only option is to paint it. So we're going to position it right in the center. And what I like to do is take a marker or a pen and put a dot where I will drill in the screws. One right there and one right there. Now that I have my dot set, I'll be able to screw in the screws. All right, I have got my first blue bracket in. And guys, if you do not have a drill bit or a drill, one simple way to do it is literally take your screwdriver and the screw that came with it and then screw the screw into the position that you have marked and then simply unscrew the screw and then take this, put it in and then take the back of the screwdriver and push it in. Unless you have a house that's made out of brick or concrete, then you're going to need the screw. But a lot of homes in America use primarily wood and drywall, especially drywall, which is very soft. And then you'll be able to do this with no problem. Now that we have completed step number two, it is time for us to screw in our new thermostat. And as you can see, the holes matched up perfectly and now we're going to use the two screws and we're gonna screw it in just like that and then we're gonna use our Phillips to tighten everything firmly all right now that the thermostat is tightened down this thing ain't budging now we're gonna go to our wires we're going to use the green the yellow, the white, and the red. There's a little jumper from R to RC. This is very important. Do not lose that little piece. If you lose this little metal piece, the jumper, your AC will not turn on at all. Your furnace will not turn on, your AC will not turn on without this little piece. So make sure you do not lose it. This red will go inside the R, the white will go inside of the W, yellow to the Y and green to the green. All you have to do is take the wire, for example green, and then match it up to the correct letter, which is G, and then you push it in, just like that. And then for yellow, you're going to do the exact same thing, also white and red. All right, now that you have matched up all the colors to the right letters, we're simply going to use the flathead screwdriver and then tighten all these screws. They're very small, so you will need a very small screwdriver. And it takes a second to tighten them, just like that. See, I got mad skills. I'm recording a video, holding the camera with one hand, and then installing a brand new thermostat with the other. So if I can do this guys with one hand you'll be able to do it with two. Alright now that all the screws are tightened we're simply going to add the cover of the thermostat. Now here's the cover of the thermostat make sure you have it on the off position and on auto on the settings this way everything will work perfectly. So now we're going to put in the batteries and we're going to add the cover. Now that we have added the batteries, we're simply going to match up these spikes with the holes on the cover and then we should have a thermostat. And now the next step that we have to do is simply go outside and turn the breaker box on. And then we'll be able to test out our new thermostat. I will go do that right now and then I'll be back to continue this video. And there you have it, your brand new thermostat is installed and working properly. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, 
Also subscribe to the channel and also check out the link in the description box below where I will show you how to program this thermostat to get it working properly. A lot of people get these programmable thermostats and they end up not using the programs and they just want to have one setting that they can adjust. So I'll have another video explaining all the settings and uh, how to set the right temperature, the modes, all kind of stuff. So make sure you check that link out in the description box below. And as always, see you in the next video. Peace out.